Echo Schools program is a program that encourages a whole school approach in addressing environmental management and conservation issues faced by the school and the local community. After running through the Sample Steps methodology, we would like to know more of what we should do to improve our projects and activities and also sharing environmental ideas between our local and overseas schools. Therefore, SMK Convent Politicus, SJKC Union, SJKC Yopon and WWF Malaysia are working hand in hand to organize the international best practices sharing session among Malaysia, Singapore, Australia and Qatar. For your information, this online sharing session will be held on 10 October 2020, Saturday, 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. GMT plus 8 through SMK Convent Political FB Live and also Zoom meeting platform. We have come to the final presenters from Caroline Chisholm Catholic College, Australia, who will be sharing with us biodiversity learning story. The presenters are Jade Ma, Christine Duong, Jessica Nguyen, Ashita Benny, Lon Du, Kathy Nguyen, and Jenny Palm. Over to you, presenters from Australia. everyone, we are from Caroline Chisholm Catholic College. With us today are the members of our own Eco Committee, otherwise known as, as, as the Sustainability Action Group. Bernard Green, Paul Barber, Emily Smallman, Lona Parry, Monique Daly, Jade Ma, Kathy Nguyen, Luanne Doe, Jessica Nguyen, Jenny Pham, Akshita Benny and Christine Dong. Acknowledgement of country, like the Manam Gum that is deeply rooted in this earth, the Wurundjeri people are deeply rooted in the spirit of this land, like the Witchery Grub that is protected, nurtured and sustained by the branches and the leaves of the gum, the Wurundjeri people's culture and language is held, nurtured and sustained in the rocks, soil, trees, waters, air, creatures, sky, dreaming and people. We acknowledge that we gather, share, tell stories, learn and grow on the sacred land of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and that their language, the Woiwurrung language and dreaming, along with their elders, past, present and emerging, hold these things sacred. We acknowledge the Wurundjeri Nogu Rangata, Wurundini and thank him and his people for caring for these lands. We respect the culture and people of the Wurundjeri across all the land where the Manam gum roots reach. Our history. In 2018, Caroline Chisholm Catholic College's own Sustainability Action Group was formed, later known informally as SAG on many occasions. It started with only three members, held over time, and grew to what it is today. As a team, each member plays a part in changing parts of the school in order to incorporate many sustainable practices into the students' and teachers' daily lives. So far, they have managed to accomplish much, from changing the waste stream system and the LED lights, to modifying the way students over the years have begun to develop interest in being a part of this movement. As of 2020, plans have been put in place to change the cafeteria menus, implement gardening fresh produce and reducing plastic waste by using machines that repurpose shredded plastic. Together as a group, the SAG team hope to make a difference in the Earth's ever-present issues by contributing what they can to help. This is our environmental review. The 2020 Biodiversity Audit revealed a deficiency of habitat and biodiversity of species at our urban campuses. As a team, we have developed an action plan for the biodiversity habitats and homes. 
These places on the map marked with a pink triangle indicate the nest boxes we plan to incorporate in the near future. As a result of this year's biodiversity audit, wildlife nesting boxes have been planned for installation across all campuses. Since 2008, nest boxes have been constructed by Year 9 students as part of the Environmental Action Project during camp at Garima. The nest boxes include wildlife monitoring cameras providing up-to-date information on the local wildlife. With the introduction of such high-tech habitat provision, it is time to take a look back at the evolution of this long-running project. <laughs> Six, since 2008, Year 9 students have taken part in the design and construction constructions of nest box for native animals. This is done as part of the environmental action project while they are on camp at Garima. One nest box is made by each class and installed on one of the significant trees in the Garima forest. Over the years, more than 120 nest boxes have been installed, providing a vast amount of habitats for the local wildlife. The success of this project has inspired the college to expand it to other campuses supporting the urban indigenous animals who live there. On this slide, you can see our, hollow, our tree hollows, which are 100 years in making. This hollow formation is dependent on our tree's history, its species and location. Hollows are mostly found in old eucalyptic trees and are rare in many other natives and introduce species such as wattle and pine. Valuable hollows for wildlife are generally found in mature and dead trees. Openings range from as small as 2 cm to as large as 75 cm, with depths ranging from anywhere from 10 cm to 10 m. Young trees do not generally contain the valuable hollows for wildlife, as they are healthy and resilient to the numerous factors contributing to hollow formation. Something you may not know about hollows is that they take years to form, even a small hollow can take approximately 120 to 150 years to form. Their narrow entrances are suitable for small animals, such as eastern pygmy possums. Medium hollows can take over 200 years to form. These are favoured by animals such as lead beaters, possums and swift parrots. Larger deep hollows are only found in old and over mature trees, meaning, that those, meaning those that are deteriorating, dying or dead. These they're occupied by glossy black cockatoos and other larger animals such as masked owls and lace monitors. These are some of our curriculum links. You'll be able to see our general capabilities, cross-curricular priorities and humanities, which in this case is the geography and the science inquiry skills. In the bottom, you can also see the environmental action plan that the Year 9s are required to complete, as mentioned before as a part of their camp experience intended on furthering their teamwork and communication skills, as well as their knowledge on environmental degradation. Our next slide showcases the different designs that have been created for different animal habitats. Each animal has different needs, and as a result, requires varying designs in terms of structure and functionality. These are our students building the habitats. Our students also assist in installing the nests to the trees. Monitoring of the success of the Nest Box program at Garima has been through incidental observations by staff and students. The monitoring of this program has been upgraded with the recent installation of motion capture wildlife cameras. Animals we have observed to be using these nest boxes include the crimson rosella, brush-tailed fasco gale, sugar glider, brush-tailed possum, ring-tailed possum, and microbats. Upon the completion of the environmental action project, Students present their actions and their learning as the final assessment of the program. SAG team members present to staff and leadership teams annually on sustainability programs, including biodiversity updates. They also provide regular updates in the college newsletter, magazines and TV monitors around the campus. This is shared on our college's Twitter and Facebook page. The college has a sustainability web page, which includes learning stories related to sustainability actions, including biodiversity, which you can access in the link. 
Our vision for sustainability at the college is to be recognised as a role model in environmental stewardship and sustainable resource use. Our purpose is to empower students to take action in protecting and caring for our environment and natural resources. Our Student Sustainability Action Group mission statement is to incorporate and promote sustainability into, daily, into the daily lives at Caroline Chisholm Catholic College and furthering knowledge about our earth. Thank you all for listening to our presentation today. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If there's any further comments or questions, please feel free to share them or contact Bernard Green or Paul Barber via the emails currently shown on the screen. All feedback is welcomed and appreciated. very informative piece of sharing. Thank you to all the presenters from Australia. We get to know more about, we get to know more about facts, like amazing facts in fact, about tree hollows and habitat trees.